the union agreement, say no to 60 euros a day, show your support. <laughs> Cheers. 30 years ago, on a shutdown, 612s, we're on 500 pounds a week. They're getting 60 euros a day at the moment, the people who are working in there, way below the minimum wage. 60 euros is about 48 pound, and that's for all hours worked in a day, not just a 10 hour day, it could be more than that. We're talking about 60 euros a day, well the, the men should be on somewhere about 180, 190 plus expenses. Thanks pal, well, we're 60 euros a day being paid in the refinery just protecting the union agreement. Everybody should get the same union rate. Thanks for your support brother. There's been an issue for a number of years now where employers have been using European labour to undermine the rates that the local labour enjoy. We have had instances where we find examples of um, you know, bogus self-employed contracts being used. Um, we found people that are on minimum wage and you know quite quite sort of sinister methods are used to sort of make the, their wages look as if they're higher. Exploiting people from around Europe is a disgrace, you know, and it's gone on for years. It's a scandal how we're going backwards and backwards. And the unfortunate thing it's seen as worker against worker. But I would always support the lads from abroad. I worked in Libya, so I've been, you know, around. I haven't done as much as some of the others. We used to work in here regularly on shutdowns in the refinery during the 80s and 90s, but in the last between 10 and 15 years, they've refused local labour work. We've put in CVs, we've renewed our safety passports. They can cost up to £100, they last three years. We've renewed them and still been turned down for jobs. And they just are not employing local labour. We've served apprenticeships, we've had over 40 years experience. The older ones in the construction and in the refinery on maintenance. A lifetime of skill proper tradesmen. We've got people who've been unemployed for quite a long time and yeah, you know, they, they certainly you know wouldn't get a job here I don't think. And now that um, you know more and more um, EU workers are being accepted on exceptionally low wages, um, they'll have less and less chance to find a job there. We have got some good contractors and where we've got good contractors they encourage union reps and the relationship works well with no issues. Where we don't have any reps that's where the relationship breaks down and there are the companies that are abusing. There have been good conditions down here, but they've been eroded and eroded, and they're keeping the activists out, there's no doubt about it. One of our activists in the southeast, he was ejected from that site in a, in a manner. He was made redundant, but only after he'd asked for uh, a report back meeting when he was elected as the steward. So there's blacklisting going on in its own form in there with them. We've had guys blacklisted, we've got two cases running at the moment. Union reps can't get a start. The fact that they're not employing any of the local labour who keep applying for jobs just in itself, that's blacklisting to me. A lot of people in there keep their heads down, they're frightened of their losing their jobs and most importantly they're frightened of having their site passes removed by the client because once their site passes are removed they can't get back on site. We can't get to the root of who is responsible for the attacks. We think it is the client, penny pinching, and putting pressure on the contractors. They're a cash rich institution. We're bored, silly of hearing how hard up for cash Exxon Mobil are. It's a cash rich refinery. I'd like to see the lads inside there, you know, come, you know inside this plant come out and stand with us. You know, if it was just for a day, if it, if it was for even two or three hours, you're making a stand with your brothers shoulder to shoulder, and that's what we need. I just hope more and more people are going to get involved, the bigger the better. I'd like to see people joining in from all over the country, not just the refinery, all issues. National Health Service, that they want to privatise, um, for housing, for people, for proper paid jobs everything. Get back to a decent standard of living. End the blacklist at the refinery. Stop blacklisting union reps. 
Local jobs, local labour. No to 60 euros a day. Our comrades up in the Teesside have done a wonderful fight and hopefully it's flagged up up there. There's not getting away with it anymore. We believe in support, mate. How about supporting local labour, local jobs? Stop paying 60 euros a day for Eastern European labour. You understand, I just need, I do need to notify the police, let them know. Yeah, OK, yeah, we, got, we have the lawful right to protest yeah, in this no, country and we're just understand. exercising that no, right. That's, that's yeah. fine. Just as long as you're aware, this is perfect. Yeah, OK, I understand fully. Cheers. Okay,